Sprout Social versus Hootsuite. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing Hootsuite with Sprout Social and seeing which one is the better social media management tool. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first up Sprout Socials, and I'm gonna use this one. I'm just simply gonna go ahead and start my free trial and I'm gonna log in. So I'm gonna log in and I'll catch you guys in a second. And the signup process is very simple. Uh, the first name, last name, email address, you know the drill. And over here, I'm just simply gonna log in. I'm gonna click on create an account. Okay, so I already have an account, let me just log in. And then we have, Hootsuite as well. So I'm going to log in over here as well. And once you have signed in, this is how it's going to look like, right? So they're going to ask you a bunch of questions. So I'm just simply going to answer these questions. Um, they're going to ask you, what is your goal? You know, what is the most important? So I'm just checking out Hootsuite and I'm going to click on continue, work at an agency that supports social media. And we are a entertainment media and click on continue, single individual messaging for people plus so we'll just choose two to three and we are good to go. So now they're basically going to ask you to connect your account. So over here, as you can see, we have all the major social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And over on Hootsuite, if we wanted to, you know, connect an account, um, let me just see, where is it? If we wanted to connect a profile, we also have a bit more than Hootsuite. So over here, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, we have Google My Business, Google Analytics, TripAdvisor, Yelp, and Glassdoor as well. So a little bit more, you know, I have, I think, five more socials that you can add on a Sprout Socials than Hootsuite. But, you know, so let's go ahead and connect our Instagram account over here. So boom, we are now connected. I'm just simply going to click on allow and here we go. So this is how it's going to look like. Yep. Take ownership. Yep. This is my account. So I'm going to take the ownership. Yep and we are good to go so now we are dashboard okay so it didn't work that's weird it should work let me try again now we're going to sign in into our facebook account as well it should work instagram account needs to be upgraded to business okay see this is one of the things i really hate i don't know why facebook had to acquire instagram now i just can't log into my other accounts unless i log into with my facebook account which is so weird i don't like that so, well, at least Facebook is connected. So, yeah, there we go. We have Facebook. Okay, we also have Instagram account, but, you know, it's for personal. We can't use it for business. Now, let's go ahead and connect our Twitter account as well. And over here, take the ownership for this one as well. And we are good to go. Yep. Boom. I think it's connected. Here we go. I think over here, my Twitter is connected. So, now we'll just simply click on continue and we are good to go. So over here now, this is how it's going to look like, right? Now we have added our social media accounts. Now we could just schedule posts so that we can post it on all of your, you know, social media accounts. Now, if you're wondering why you would need something like this, well, it's pretty simple. So for example, let's say you work for a marketing agency, right? And you have a client and he wants to, you to manage all of their social media and you have to make posts on all of them. So instead of just, you know, up uploading one by one on different social media what you'll do is you'll take that post and you'll come over here to connect all of them all of the social media accounts and you'll post it one time and it'll automatically post all of those single posts on each of the devices with you just have to you know upload it on one platform over here so let's get started so before i do that let me just sign in with my account over here let me see how many accounts i have you know logged into over here with sprout socials as well Okay, so I'm just simply going to connect my Instagram over here. It is a business profile, technically. Yes, I'm all set. Go to Facebook, and I have to click on continue, and I will be able to log in over here. Yes, I'm ready to try. Okay, it didn't work. We'll just go back and just simply connect it normally, even though my profile is set to business, which is weird. I don't know why these things happen. So let's try the personal ones. All right. So go to Instagram and click on allow and we are set. So we are now good to go. So now we have Instagram publishing as well. So we'll click on continue and over here we can install Sprout Socials onto our phone as well, but I don't want that. So then we have smart inbox over here where you will see all of your messages from all of your accounts. So you are going to have your Twitter messages. You know, you will have all of them over here. This is going to be your Twitter feed. I think I only connected one account. Okay, no, I have two accounts. 
have Facebook and Twitter, but you generally get the idea, right? Just simply link your accounts and you are good to go. So now let me just show you how easy it is to publish. So if you click on publish over here, you click on compose a post over here, you're going to post it on your Twitter, your Pinterest and your Facebook. You're going to choose and upload an image over here that you want to upload. So let's just say that we want to upload this NFT that I created earlier. And over here, this is how it's going to look like on Twitter. This is how it's going to look like on Facebook. And this is how it's going to look like on Pinterest, right? So let me just copy the link, you know, for my Twitter profile and paste it into URL where people can actually see it because Pinterest requires it. All right. And then over here, you can add in like a uh, caption. I'm just simply going to say hashtag made by me very old school if i do have to say so myself and then you have your pinterest pin over here and i'll just say i thought it was funny and i'll and then you can specify a date and time when you want to upload it so over here please select the board okay i forgot there we go now i should be good to go so let's go ahead and immediately i'm going to post it so i'm just simply going to click on send and now the post has been composed as you can see the post has been sent right now if i come over here onto my feed i should be able to see them over here there you go as you can see it is uploaded over here and this is for the twitter feed as well so as you can see it works pretty simple right nothing too complicated now let's go ahead and try it on hootsuite as well so i'm going to click on post and this is how it's going to look like right so pretty simple over here you can connect your accounts so your personal account, your Twitter, you know, your Instagram, and you are good to go. So then you add in your text or external link and you drag and drop your file over here. I'm going to add in the NFT over here. Okay. It did not upload, which is weird. What about this one? Okay. So we'll just, you know, browse the media over here instead. And we'll just choose, let's say, um, this image right here. Looks pretty cool. Looks really nice. Yeah and promote this post no i don't want to promote this post and then you can enter in like text over here this is for the twitter this is for facebook you know it all depends on you you can add text and then you can schedule the post for later if you want to or you can post it right now so if you click on post right now it's going to post all of your you know post has been sent to the twitter account and the facebook account as well so as you can see your post has been successfully posted over here and this was your recent post as well that I just posted from Sprout Social as well. So as you can see, pretty simple, right? Nothing too complicated. So that's why you would need a social media management tool if you are going to be, you know, uploading more profiles, more posts, all from a single point of view. So now let's go ahead and check out some pricing plans for both of these. If I click on upgrade my plan, it's going to show me the uh, plans for Hootsuite. So this is the current plan, the professional one. Its trial is going to end soon. But then we have teams, we have businesses, and we have enterprise. So the team one is going to be $130 per month, and it's going to give you three users, 20 social media accounts, scheduled post unlimited, access to messaging inbox. And then you have additional features over here. Same goes for over here. For business one, it's going to be $740 per month. It's going to give you five users, 35 social accounts, schedule unlimited posts, access to manager accounts. Then you have additional features over here. I mean, you can go ahead and pause this video right here and read all of them if you want to. So I'm pretty sure you read them. And then you have your enterprise over here as well. So I'm pretty sure you're not going to need that, but you know, it all depends on you. So, okay, so these are the plans for Sprout Social. So you have the standard plan, the professional and the advanced. So for the standard plan, it's going to be $89 per user per month billed annually, or it's going to be $99 per month. And the professional one is going to cost you $149 per user per month billed annually. If you're going to choose month to month, it's going to be $169. And for the advanced, it's going to be $249 per user per month. And it's going to be $279. We'll just call it $281, you know, for month to month. So over here, these are all the features that you can see. So for the standard one, you get five social profiles. Whereas over here, uh, you know, you get the five users, which are the social profiles on the business one, which costs you $739 per month, which I think is a ridiculous amount. So Sprite Social has, I think, a better pricing plan over here. 
they also give you an all-in-one social inbox you know messages and comments and stuff like that and they give you a bunch of different other you know features as well and if you use the professional plan which is still 150 dollars whereas you know the business plan if we compare it to it's 740 dollars and you get five social users 35 social accounts and all of that which i think is not cool so over here you get 10 social profiles and you get a bunch of more stuff as well so clearly i think if you see them by the pricing points i would highly recommend sprout socials number one reason is the pricing plans number two is they have you know better you know options to connect your profiles with they have more profiles that you can connect with you know over here and overall i really like their you know ui and the look and feel of their website as well good and all but it feels very old and outdated and you know it, it always gives me some sort of error whenever i try to do something as you saw in this video as well so yeah guys these are this is it for this video guys so i'm pretty sure you guys know what you want to do but still let me know in the comment sections down below which one you are going to be using as well so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye